is doing this to take the quiz. And what are you making? Can I have more blocks? More blocks? I love her home already. Great job. As every parent knows, there are some toys that your kids use once and then they end up at the bottom of the toy box and they're never seen again. And then there are some toys that get brought out again and again and again and they love year after year. This Christmas, I wanted to know, is there such a thing as the perfect toy? Not just the one that helps my children's brain development, but the one that was more likely to be loved for longer. Thankfully, it turns out that pretty much any toy is good for your child's brain development. You've got toys that are gonna improve their physical fitness. You've got crafts and pencils that are gonna improve their fine motor skills. You've got toys that are gonna improve their creativity and their imagination or their social skills. Even video games that you might think are not good for your children can actually be quite good for their brain development. In fact, there's this really cool study where they gave children a video game to play with or a doll and they analyzed their brain activity while they were playing with both of those things. And they found unsurprisingly that when the children were playing with dolls, they showed more brain activity in areas associated with language and imagination than when they were playing a video game. However, when they played the video game or the doll with a parent or a carer, and they were interacting with them, they didn't really see any difference in their brain activity. But if every toy is good for their brain development in some way or another, how do I choose the right one that they're gonna love for longest? It turns out there's a really good trick you can use. You just have to think about whether a toy is open-ended or closed-ended. What's closed-ended? Good question. A closed-ended toy is one where it only has one use. So a really good example is one of those steady hand games. Oh, that's lovely, Sam. It's fun for maybe five, 10 minutes, but there's no other real way to play with it. And that's the kind of toy, that closed ended toy that's gonna be lost at the bottom of the toy box. You can have a turn. I can have a turn, thanks. In contrast, open ended toys like a fluffy banana have multiple ways of using them. So you could be a telephone, or it can be a weapon, or it can be or a missile, or it can be just a cuddly toy that you can pretend to play imaginary games with. It can be, a, yeah, it can be a game of catch. So there are so many ways that you can play with uh, this toy, and that's an open-ended toy. And it turns out that open-ended toys are the ones that are most likely to be played with over the long term and over many years. I really like playing with magnets. So as you can see, my kids love playing with magnets and they've had it for years and it keeps coming out daily. And they just ignite so many different games and they, it uses their imagination. I love playing with it, they love playing with it. For me, it's the perfect Christmas toy.